Hey everybody, this is Julius of the Goat Movement Podcast. I'm here to reintroduce a series of videos, a weekly series of videos that were on our old channel. These are the What If Discussions, where we discuss different points in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and drastically change them, seeing how the universe as a whole would be affected. These videos started back in 2019 in anticipation for the What If series now on Disney+. Plus. I'm joined by a variety of different guests where we talk about these different instances and scenarios. We're going to release them weekly like we did beforehand, and we hope you enjoy them. Obviously, a lot of these discussions became episodes, so it's going to be fun to compare and contrast then to what we have now. Enjoy the content, the conversation, have a good one, stay safe, and goodbye. What's happening, everybody? My name is Julius. And I'm Angel. It's time to ask the question. What is the question? What's the question, Julius? No, I'm asking you, man. What's the question? You're asking me a question? Hail oh, okay. Hydra. <laughs> okay. Who talks first? You talk first, I talk first. All right, here's the question, everybody. All right, Oscar Isaac. <laughs> what if Hydra won in Captain America, the Winter Soldier? Shit would be messed up. <laughs> it's as simple as it gets. So, we're talking about Captain America the Winter Soldier, obviously, in that film. Uh, it was revealed that HYDRA had infiltrated SHIELD, the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement Logistics Division, uh, for a long... change the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they infiltrated that shit, and uh, they turned it from SHIELD to shit. <laughs> so... What about the Shiza, you mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> I was about to say. The real question is, what if? <laughs> so, Angel, first before we get into the scenario, what did what did you think about the twist, the reveal in the film itself when it came to Hydra? Oh, I, I loved it. It's yeah. exactly what Hydra represents. They are this terrorist organization that uh, is kind of. Hiding beneath the shadows and taking control slowly. You cut off one head to grow back more in yeah. its place. Uh, but I love the reveal. I thought Re Robert Redford was a fantastic villain. And trying to see him convince Nick Fury of this plan to have three helicarriers in the air. You know, it was called Project Insight in the film. Um, you know, taking out any target that was a threat. Or towards, could have been a threat. Yeah, or could have been a threat yeah. to Hydra. Um some real stuff right there some real scary stuff and uh yeah it falls in line with exactly what hydra their goals yeah world domination yeah and that is just it's very close to what eugenics was mm -hmm. it's very close to purifying yeah uh, during world war Two, and it was very scary yeah in the film it hadn't probably the most stakes at that point mm -hmm. in terms of uh you know getting the audience uh, invested emotionally and uh, also practically you mm -hmm. know the government just turning into this giant totalitarian uh, you know conglomerate yeah and uh, getting these weapons and luckily we had a cap that day thank but, god but now we're talking about if we weren't so lucky mm. so what do you think would have happened I'll, I'll, like you said a lot of bad shiza would have <laughs> happened um this is a group that is that wants to sustain an autocracy yeah. you know their system is if you don't agree with us you know if you don't shut up you're gonna die that's basically the world that we would live in i think if they would have succeeded they would have eliminated all of their targets which was around 20 million people it's a lot of people um tony stark was on that list you know, yeah. so Damn right, that dude. Iron Man would have been dead yeah. if this happened. Uh, a lot of other heroes probably would have been dead. I think also if Shield, or I'm sorry, if Hydra succeeded, nobody would have known that it was Hydra. Their their true face would not have been revealed. Everybody would still think that Shield was still in control. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been uh, another horrific. Um, alternative uh to their plans nobody could stop them i think zola as an artificial intelligence system would have expanded worldwide globally i think the hydra would have had their hands on the scepter and the mind stone and the difference instead of you know creating ultron since tony stark would have been dead he would have been able to access the mind stone and become the most powerful artificial intelligence 
in the world and literally control the world that way it would be a lot easier for him i think honestly if they won cap would have died i think cap would have been dead Mm. i think cap i think uh bucky would not be able to fight his emotions of recognizing um um steve rogers i think he would have killed him i think he would have beat him to a pulp and he would have had bloodshed all over his hands you know because cap kept telling him finish it finish it finish it and if hydra would have won i think their brainwashing would have been so powerful that bucky would not be able to crack he would have killed cap he would have his bloodshed all over his hands and at that moment that would make him snap Mm -hmm. that would make him realize i just killed my best friend you know it was until the end of the line on my end i failed Mm -hmm. and i see that leading to two different pathways one the bloodshed makes him snap out of it and he becomes the new captain america Mm -hmm. who is the only hope of carrying on that legacy um working with sam bucky would have been captain america fighting against hydra on a worldwide scale that's a really cool alternative i thought of also the bloodshed maybe could have caused nothing and he still would be under hydra's control going under a different name which is the u.s agent for uh the shield hydra organization Mm -hmm. and he would still be the villain and sam would have to pick up the shield um because he wouldn't have been a target for the helicarriers and stuff and i also see a similar situation with the helicarriers um because they because hydra wouldn't be revealed as shield i see kind of something similar to what happened in revenge of the sith kind of like a execute order 66 kind of thing they would gain the trust of heroes who weren't killed and then whenever hydra felt it was right to eliminate them they would slaughter every single hero except for uh sam wilson or or bucky damn (laughs) Uh, well i think that that's very well thought out and there are a lot of reasons to get behind it i thought of something kind of different when it came to this moment in the mcu i think this is the moment that hydra's been waiting for to come back Mm -hmm. you know this is the the rise of the fourth reich in many ways and uh, I mean, just look what's happening in the real world with, you know, white supremacy and yeah. uh, the KKK. There are people out there saying, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a freaking Nazi. You know, that's what I am. And I think Hydra would act no different. I think that, you know, interestingly enough, I think we part ways in this that I don't think Winter Soldier would kill Cap. I think he'd bring him in mm. to Hydra and Hydra would get their hands on oh. him and brainwash him. And there you get two guys who are together once Damn, again, partners bro. who once fought Hydra, you know, with each other. Yeah. And now are fighting for Hydra with each other till the end of the line. And at that point, someone's going to have to find that shield in the ocean. And I think that person would be Sam Wilson, mm. who would do his best to bring be him back. Captain America and yeah. try to bring him back. And we get at that point something very similar to what happened in secret empire Mm -hmm. you know i mean we freaked out in endgame when he faked those hydra guys out yeah but now he actually means it Mm -hmm. so we need to get falcon in to train to you know get some augmented suit by stark or whatever whoa he could be leading the avengers yeah, working with all those guys and, and they're trying to take their country and then eventually their world back you know it's the avengers versus hydra but I do think that uh, it, it would start off small in terms of Hydra. You know, they'd obviously do the, the Project Insight thing. But Cap and Bucky are working together. I mean, those two alone are enough to fight off the Avengers. I think those two would actually kill Iron Man. Because mm. we saw in Civil War the way they ha- handled him, you know, together. And they were holding back. They nearly killed that dude. This time they're not holding back. And they, they would actually mess him up. Then you'd need someone to come in and take up the Iron Man mantle. Mm -hmm. And that could be uh, Pepper. You know, know, Pepper could come in and grab a suit. Be like, I'm done. I'm not playing around anymore. Mm -hmm. It's it's time. And Loki, or not Loki, what am I talking about? Uh, What's his name? Uh, Thor would, Mm -hmm. would have to show up and fight some some hydra ass the hulk would have to show up it'd be interesting to see how hydra would combat yeah the avengers because they really do think ahead like that they really do 
um, uh, try to prepare for every contingency Mm -hmm. so you know they'd have to put it together their own team people like crossbones maybe they could you know recruit someone like zemo very Mm -hmm. early on uh taskmaster even you know all these different people yeah who act as enemies of adventure i feel like at this point we would get scarlet witch and quicksilver pretty much earlier on Mm -hmm. because they were doing those experiments maybe they'd stay with hydra and then eventually go back to the avengers uh, or and and in this case, Quicksilver could live. Maybe mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff to to happen. Totally. But a big thing that I wanted to bring up was that I think Hydra, if they did win, they would, you know, before all this, you know, resistance happens from the Avengers. Mm-hmm. I think they would take over the world, except for Wakanda, mm. and they would be able to hold hold out Whoa. and fight off the rest of the world because yeah. they can. At this point, they'd be very uh, secluded. Yeah. There's no reason to come to the rest of the world, especially now that it's dealt. It's ran by white supremacy. Yeah, um, we get a black cat versus yeah, no, a black cat teaming up with Black Panther versus white Nazis. supremacy. Let's yeah, go. that would be insane. They'd, oh man, that's the movie we need. Yeah, <laughs> um, they they got they got everything uh, with this. Uh, I think if. Let's say the resistance of everyone failed and Hydra kept on going. Eventually, Thanos does show up to Earth. How do you think, you know, Hydra would hold themselves up against Thanos, especially if they have Cap and Winter Soldier working together? Oh, I think Thanos would have been like, thanks for making the snap easier for me. This was easy. <laughs> that, that's what happened because there would be no Avengers. Like, no a, a core Avengers central team with, like, really strong players to take on Thanos. I think it would have been easier for him. Uh, to get the stones and snap uh, half of the galaxy, there would just be less people on Earth to care about fading away. So that effect, I think, wouldn't wouldn't really uh, matter as much. But yeah, I I, mm-hmm. I see Hydra being stomped by Ta- Thanos, tank, taken down. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, man, it's a it's a crazy idea to think about, um, and hopefully it doesn't become a reality. Yeah, just because damn it's crazy that winter soldier came out just a couple of years before yeah you know shit started happening yeah masterpiece but i i really loved um when you mentioned the whole hail hydra thing and if like cap were to really mean it it just made me think like okay if hydra won then there obviously had to be stepping stones to lead them to their victory and i thought about remember when we've discussed before how the german uh scientist who gave the serum to Captain America? What if he had some influence? Uh, what if he had some affiliation with Hydra? And it was it was really just an illusion to make this Captain America. But in this serum, there was like some type of strand that you can affect, and it'll reinitiate the uh, electro shock therapy that they've done previously. And maybe he was an undercover Hydra agent without even knowing it. I think that would be a really great revelation if it happened you know maybe bucky says something to cap and then cap is like hail hydra and like he was just just this hydra agent this whole time i think it'd be really crazy yeah i mean what you're saying pissed a lot of fans off when they did that in secret empire you know um just because it's cap you know we want that dude to that's like superman oh yeah you know being like luther's disciple but i think it could i think it, it could work here because of how they utilize Bucky and how Bucky, you know, he has a serum, but he was, he, you say these words and it, it like, it turns something else on. I could see the same thing happening with Cap, especially because he went into this program, had no idea who this dude was. He was a German scientist who knew if he worked with Hydra or not. And I could, I could believe something like that occurring. And then, you know, Hydra is all about double crossing and stuff. I, I could only see it seeing it work thematically and stuff that scary idea yeah <laughs> the captain america of all people could get hit like that yeah as a man that's a frightening idea. And, and it would only be easier for bucky to be like it's time to recruit you and, and utilize you now since you've earned the respect of the world you're seen as captain america and if you're seen on our side now you know yeah everyone's gonna follow that lead no i think there is a way to get cat back in this scenario of all scenarios i think the way to get him back is to remind him of his 
relationship with Peggy. Yeah. You know, that's something to really pull him back to reality. Yeah. And then eventually he could come back and just be like, no, I'm here. Yeah. Captain America has returned. He leads a whole new Avengers team because you know, a lot of them had been killed. Yeah. Uh, new recruits and everything. He could have met up with Ant-Man a lot earlier. Mm-hmm. And it would have been a pretty epic like return. You I know? agree. Oh, I agree. I mean, because think about it. If they did get him on Hydra's side, the return would be such a payoff. You know, because hell yeah, America prevails. It could be corrupted, but guess what? Justice will always win in the end. You know, honor. Yeah. America. <laughs> I'd be ready for this. I, I I would hope that this is a episode they do. I know, right? You know, this would be really awesome to see. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was really cool. I loved when you sent me this. Like, what yeah. if Hydra won? It was so interesting to think about. Absolutely. And I'm really glad we got to do it. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the diehard of the country in the yeah. MCU. He, he turns into Bruce Willis. That's what happens. <laughs> All right, everybody. I am Julius. I'm Angel. It's been three years of the GOAT podcast. Please get ready because we have more shit happening. Woo! It's exciting. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll get us to 3,000 subscribers. Please help us and uh, get us to 30,000 after that. What the hell? You going to turn into a Nazi or something? punch your lights out all right everybody goodbye peace out the goat podcast is proof you don't have to look any further for movie news reviews trailer reactions or special discussions subscribe get notified about what's going on and i promise you'll be entertained by our daily content on youtube if you want more we're on twitter at goat film podcast instagram the goat podcast and the goat movie group on facebook get connected with us see what's happening and make sure to love it while you're doing so